Along here we may want to place some base door units. Again, simply clicking on the level that you wish. Base unit. Again we may choose a 600 or an 800 unit depending on two door, for instance, for a sink. So we might drag and drop. You'll also note that you can place your unit to a set distance from the wall. Again, this can be done by typing it in. Again, we may want two of these units, so we will use the duplicate function. Choosing duplicate is a quick way of getting cabinets into our design that are of the same size. If I've decided that I've placed this in the wrong area, what we can do is right click, choose the cabinet, and choose move. What we can do now is place it on a new wall and align it to whatever area we would like. Like so. We now may want to place some wall units into our design. Selecting categories, choosing wall unit, perhaps a 720 high unit, double clicking that. We may want to choose a single door or even a double door 600. And we can drag this on and you will note we can still reference the snap points on our design. So we may want to snap it to that particular point. And we'll be presented with additional dimension line showing the available space for wall units. When placing wall units quite often it is easier to see an elevation of our design. To do this we would simply select the placement zone and choose add elevation. We can now see how the wall unit is looking on our design. We can also place directly onto the elevation. As you can see we get information displayed in both the elevation and the plan views. Like so. We can also right click and choose up and down and even adjust the height of where this wall unit would traditionally snap. Note that if we get a snap marker it will snap back into place. We can close the elevation view by selecting right mouse button click and choosing delete elevation area. If we want a cabinet on a 45 degree in the corner, what we can do there is simply select the unit, drag it out, note that we have one marker with a magnet and the closer we get to the angle we now get two markers with magnets. Again if we release we now are on the 45 and can place this unit on an angle. Again that is a simple way of placing flat unit on a 45. Should we need to right click and move our unit into the middle of our design and again in this case we will duplicate them This time what we can do, if we want to move them all at once, is select region, right mouse button click and choose group items. Now we can move them as a group. Again we can rotate these items by choosing right mouse button click and choosing rotate. Again you can see us rotate to any particular angle that we would like. To delete items we simply right mouse button click and choose delete, or when the unit is highlighted, we'd simply use the delete key. If we wish to view the attributes of a unit, we can do so by selecting the unit, right mouse button clicking, and selecting attributes. This will provide us with information dialog box. Again, we can rotate it, we can zoom it, and we can change the display. We can also adjust the width in this case we can set it up by increments of 10 millimeters by clicking these arrows or by 1 millimeter increments by selecting the ITO arrows. We can also highlight it and type in a value. Pressing enter will apply the change. You will note that the dimensions have changed on the design. Again selecting attributes we can look at other options. When we select the add-ons tab we could add for instance 
bins, etc., or any other attributes that we may have set up for this. The variables tab is possibly the one that you'll use the most. Selecting on the open section will allow us to open the doors. When we choose quantity, we might be able to adjust the door back to one or even three. You note if we add three, we get an additional partition. Again, we can choose multiple partitions and multiple shelves. We can even change the values of our shelf depths. For instance, we may want this at 445 millimeters. And you will note that the shelf depth has adjusted. Quite often we may need to change a corner unit. Placing it in, it may be approximately the right size, but we may need to adjust it. Again, simply right mouse button clicking, choosing attributes, we can now adjust the size. As you can see, they are both growing. So as we apply this size, you'll note that both dimensions change to 1040. In this case, we may want one length shorter or longer than the other. To do so, you would choose attributes, select the variables tab, and you will note on the dimensions selection that we have width and width two. If we adjust width 2, you will note that only that width is changing. So we may change that one to 1190, and width 1 we may adjust back to 960. If we choose Apply, again we will see that this has now changed and staggered the dimensions. Again we will see 1190 on one side and 960 on the other. We might not have a unit that's 265 wide, so we might choose a base unit to complete our design that would be 300 millimeters. Again, this will adjust itself into that space. As you can see from this design, 2020 allows the user to place and design cabinets in an easy format. As designers, you will spend the majority of your time in this area. You can also choose to place elements other than cabinets, which we will cover now. Most kitchens will have elements such as room items, and in this case, windows. We will have a look at some generic windows. The heights of these windows represent the height of the window and not the height off the ground. By selecting them, you will get a preview. As we drag it on, we do like a cabinet, We'd simply drag it on until we see the magnet marker appear. As you can see, it's now snapped to the wall. In this case, we want it to the middle of this wall, so we will select where the snap has highlighted, and now we can resize. We can either do this by clicking the mouse, or by typing in a value. In this case, 1800. As you can now see, we have placed window into our design. It is the same process to place a door. By placing windows and doors into our design, it will give you a good understanding of where you can place certain units, such as sink units, wall units, and tool units. In the following section, we will cover how we place bench tops into our design.